Hi guys, we're out again. Um, weather's not as nice as day today. I don't know what it looks like on camera. But um, again, I'm gonna give the top a bash. We're supposed to be hitting the pollock, but it was nice out there. So today, a joey, not that big. Tides are still moving. <coughs> Tail off, stop them spinning. I like the head off them. Don't like the heads on the top. That'll help the smell get out. The hoop of Joey for top. Try and get it in through his tail. If it tears the skin, you just end up elastic threading it. You're elastic threading it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Get in here. Yeah. Get down. Pop it back out again there. And you're gonna whack on some elastic thread there. Keep the hook out. We use the heavy bio glow because it's very handy. It's heavy stuff and you don't need many wraps to hold it. Start with the tail. Leave a little tag. See the extra tag a bit longer than you would expect. It's really handy as a, a little bit of extra grip for the thread. Stops it pulling through the bait if you get a, a grip like. To pull this thread, to break this thread, normally like elastic you just snap it off but this thread is quite heavy and it's frozen baits I'm using so I do two half hitches on it. Half hitch is just literally you do that. Do that again. So just literally do that. Over the hook. Do another one. So two of them. And that's all. That's what it looks like. Hope grabs it. He's on. Now that's that's what I use on the poly rig. On the flowing tricks in the bottom, I use a circle hook. I don't want any deep hook fish. So hopefully we'll catch up and I'm only put the line down in my way. I was just showing you the heating up the other rod, and this lad's away like a rocket. Anchor was pulling. <laughs> Brilliant, boys. My first run out in the Scupper Pro for the ages. Right, we've got him here. Place in one hand. Stop it over to your other hand. 
Small top are always the worst. Now the small ones are wiry buggers, so you just have to hold. You have to get me across the hand there when I wasn't looking. So right. you just have to hold them for a few seconds. He'll settle. There wasn't anything handy about that fella. But there he is. Yeah. Small ones are always harder because they're always full of life when they come in. That's him there now. He's about 20 pounds. A few more, 23. So that's him going on us. Distracted me there for the second knock on the other radio, and he got me in the hand with his teeth. Minor, <laughs> we can live with that. <laughs> right, baiting up again. I show you the bait, the Joey on a pulley rig there. When the flow and trace one took off. Um, wasn't in the water any more than five minutes maximum. So same again for the, for this one for Joey's head off. Head off in the knuckle. This is only a small bait. through there. That's the strongest part on him. And that top there I've just got just let go that's he took that there. There's no hard bits in, in it to mess around with. Just pick it up and swallow it. Okay. So, that's a uh, that's actually an AO flayden hook believe it or not. But it seems to be fishing quite well. I just bought and they're giving them a try stick a lid back on this one and we're ready to go right back again there's always somebody asking about hooking up baits so I'll do it again this is this time it's a fresh filler right our fish under 40 pounds there's plenty big enough that there's <coughs> like pack tope not all about lads fishing but the big tope is a different thing altogether or a smaller tope that size bait there is loads all right Hook through the top ones. Pull it through. Pull the hook through. Pull the wire through. Now like that. Go back through. Put the hook around the back again. And go through it. About a quarter of an inch lower. Right. Careful not to kink your wire or put a knot on it. Okay. Pull it through. 
And what happens is, the little stud from the wire will hold the mackerel up like that there. So whether you have elastic thread or not, you probably don't need it. All you have to do is line it up. That's where you want your hook. So sharp hook. Pop it in there. Take it down. Natural bait, no elastic thread, nothing. It's not gonna come out. And as soon as the top hits it, he's gonna be hooked. Really simple, nothing to it, no skill required. All right, try that. You want a bigger fillet, obviously, you can just bring it down a bit more. You want to bring it through the fillet another, come through another time, get it lower down on a big fillet, you can. So that's just the easy way to do it. 30 second hookup. 